In this video, we will learn how to use Media TV, which has a very interesting operating logic. It is powerful and simple to use. It is the most powerful automator that allows programming any type of required programming, no matter its complexity. It is essential to keep in mind the following folders, which can be accessed by pressing the config button in the main window called Video Switch. This folder is where all the music videos corresponding to the audio files being played are automatically downloaded. Here is where you should store all the commercials. And this is where all the music, videos, artwork, etc. should be stored, all the content of the station. Remember to consider these three main folders before using Media TV. All configurations of Media TV can be accessed by pressing the Media TV button in the configuration window. First, let's review the basic steps to understand the system. There is no ingestion system. Unlike other traditional software that involves a tedious ingestion process, Media TV does not have such a system. Instead, it relies on the directory structure where audio and video files reside. The recommended structure consists of having a main folder that contains the three primary categories required for a station, commercials, music, and sweepers. Each of these categories is represented by folders and subfolders. If you need to create a backup, you simply need to make a copy of a folder, and it will have all the content of your station backed up. You can categorize without limitations using folders and subfolders. It is a quick and straightforward process. Basically, the structure of the station's media library is based on the names of folders and files. This allows for efficient organization and neatness of content. It is an optimal solution for any operator. In the Media Manager, you will find a quick explorer of all the music and videos in the station. An indexing process should be performed each time content is added or removed. To perform an indexing, you need to select the Re-Index Library option by right-clicking. The indexing process is practically instantaneous, even if you have 100,000 files. All categories, subcategories, and corresponding files will be automatically updated. By double-clicking, you can access the content of each category. It is also possible to perform a search using keywords, both in the category names and file names. For example, when searching for the word hit, all related content will be displayed. Now, we will proceed to create a 24-hour schedule, which will be the daily programming grid for the station. You can create a daily schedule for each day of the week or have one schedule for weekdays and another for weekends. Media TV adapts to all your needs. In this case, we will create a single schedule for Monday to Friday. Let's start by creating a new playlist. In this playlist, you can drag and drop the elements you want. For example, let's add the category Hits. The Hits playlist will be played indefinitely, as you can assign the number of elements to play, and we'll set it to, for example, 999. By right-clicking, we can open and view the content of the category, which we could describe as a playlist. The playback logic in Media TV is based on the playback of nested playlists, i.e., playlists within playlists within another playlist. This logic allows for any type of programming and content rotation, even for the most advanced schedules. It is a straightforward and quick process once you understand this operating logic. Perfect. With this knowledge, you will have everything you need to create any programming for your station. Now, we will proceed to play a specific show that was previously recorded. This show will start at 5 in the morning, and we will wait for the current file to finish playing before starting the playback. To perform this action, right-click on the file and select the Assign Playback Time option. 
This will allow you to set the specific time you want the file to play within your schedule. This way, you can accurately schedule the appearance of the content at the desired time. We will add the three files that make up the show, which are divided into three blocks. This division allows the commercial system to play advertisements between the show files. In this manner, you achieve the format of a live show with specific content for the station. This structure provides a seamless experience for the listeners, with a smooth transition between the show content and commercial segments. To avoid having to modify the schedule daily for this ever-changing content, we will enable the Get File Duration When Playing option. This will allow us to replace the show file regardless of its duration, as Media TV will check for duration changes and make the necessary adjustments. We will apply this option to all three show files. This way, you only need to replace the show files without making additional changes to the schedule. By right-clicking on the file and selecting the Details option, you can view the physical location of the file on your system. Additionally, you can confirm that the option has been enabled. Let's continue with the programming case. Now, we will add another music category at the end of the show, with no specific start time, to play indefinitely. Next, we will add a weather report, which we want to play at a specific time. We will continue building the schedule for the day, and finally, we will add one last music category to play for the rest of the day. It's important to note that this is just a short example and does not represent a complete daily schedule for a radio station. We will save this playlist with the station's programming under the name Monday to Friday Program. Recalling Media TV's logic, which uses nested playlists, we can implement a playlist called Rotation Playlist in this schedule. While starting the schedule with a music category is a good beginning, it might not be sufficient for a well-rounded music selection for a radio station. Therefore, we will create a more advanced programming in a simple way. Now, let's create the rotation playlist in Media TV's Auxiliary 2. In this new playlist we're creating in the Auxiliary, we will drag and drop different music categories with separators between them. For instance, for the Mexican pop category, it is specified to play two files before moving on to the next element. We can observe that the main category supers contains all the categories and subcategories, including the entire artistic part of the station. This feature makes it easy to add specific or more general content to a playlist effortlessly. We will save the playlist as rotation hits and enable the loop option to make it loop endlessly. The loop command also instructs the playlist from which this rotation playlist is called to resume from where it left off, instead of starting from the beginning every time it is called. Now, in the Media Manager, under the Playlist section, you can find the new playlist called Rotation Hits. This playlist has been created as part of the advanced programming we have configured and is designed to offer a continuous rotation of music and separators. Now, we proceed to replace the element that previously contained only the pop hits category in the schedule with the rotation hits playlist, to which we assigned indefinite playback. Finally, we save the changes in the playlist. In this way, we have achieved a more advanced daily programming that includes a rotation of music with its corresponding separators and artistic content. Upon analyzing the operating logic, we can observe that the Monday to Friday program playlist is a playlist that contains other playlists, such as the rotation playlist. Additionally, the rotation playlist contains all the content categories to be played, and each category contains its respective files. This nested playlist structure provides great power and ease in implementing the programming, no matter how advanced it may be. The visualization of the playback sequence throughout the day is straightforward and easy to follow. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. We recommend exploring our other tutorials of Close Radio TV, 
where we delve into more specific topics and further expand your knowledge in using the platform.